<laughs> She's cold. Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to another video. So, first of all, I have a rat down my shirt. A naked rat. <laughs> Me and little Maggie here are doing skin to skin. You know, like a mom and a newborn baby do skin to skin. This is our bonding time. So it's actually freaking cold in here. Like it's so cold. I really want to put on a sweater. But then these lights that I use to film make it really hot here so i'm not gonna put on a sweater but i'm really cold right now and so is maggie that's why she's down here and she's a hairless rat you know she doesn't have any fur to keep her warm look at her little face though look oh i love her <laughs> anyways so some time ago i was going through my emails i came across this email from a viewer i opened it up i read it basically it says that he's been watching my videos for months he likes my channel he likes how i do what i do so it says that in september he got five mantises mantises mantis i mantis mantises mantis Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just say mantises. Google said so. And um, he got five mantises. They're from Madagascar and other parts of Africa. And I've been taking care of them as my pets ever since. I was able to reproduce two of the three females. And the first egg sac opened a week ago. 30 baby mantises resulted from there. I noticed in your videos that you are very clear about the importance of animals and the environment. Which I do try and talk about that as much as I can. Basically he's saying that he thinks I can help change some people's minds about negative things for example he's saying that here in mexico and this is true because i've witnessed it it's pretty common to find wild praying mantises in your garden on your plants outside where you live like even here in the city like you don't have to live in the middle of nowhere and mostly because of their intimidating appearance Most people automatically assume that they're harmful, that they can hurt you or a pet or a child. So unfortunately, the first thing that people do when they see a praying mantis, they kill it. It's sad. And he brings up a really good point about how uh, where he lives plants and flowers and stuff are becoming infested with little bugs because there's no praying mantis to prey on them so they really take over and then here it says I have a proposal for you I'd like to give you slash donate you some of my praying mantises that I have and then he mentions that he has about 250 more on the way apparently his female mantises got busy and uh, we're very effectively reproducing for him. So he wanted to send me some mantises and along with a container where they can live in for their entire lives and a care guide, which he did link here in the email. It's a really good care guide. It's super complete, lots of information. Anything you wanna know about praying mantises, it's covered in there. And it's crazy because he put it together himself. He's really dedicated to this. I love that. So he linked it here to this original email. And then he says that he doesn't breed them for a living and that if I say yes to this project, he's not asking for publicity or anything. In return, he really just wants more people to know about praying mantises and think of them in a positive way. So yeah, so that was the initial email. That's what caught my attention. I thought he was super just genuine and a good person. I read the care guide before giving him an answer because I, I didn't want to just jump into a project. Not knowing if I was gonna be able to pull it off. So a few days later, I replied his email. I said I was interested and uh, yeah, sure, let's 
get this project going. So the first thing I had to do was get some fly cultures going. Getting the starter culture was so complicated. I literally could not find them anywhere, not even online. It took about a month for me to find a seller. And then I did find the seller and he just didn't have any available. I just kind of kept looking, I kept digging, and eventually... Yay, the package is here. Nope, 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 go away. Ta-da! Oh, are they okay? Yeah, are they... I don't think they're okay. So this is some um, fruit fly starter culture, except the adults are like dead and there's a few maggots in there, but I don't know if they're alive. They're not moving. Are you guys okay? Look, they're all like dead. Well, that sucks. Look, you guys, I see some movement. So there's hope. Yay. Girl, leave that alone. So here's both of the Coulter containers that I prepared. I could try dividing this in half and see if we might have something here in a few days. How are you supposed to get this out of here? So, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I've never had fruit fly cultures. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Yay. Like, I'm not really off to a great start, if you ask me. Oh, snap. That's a lot. No, I want to divide this in half. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Nope, go away. <laughs> yep, I'm using a kitchen spoon. Sorry, Mom, if you're watching this. I promise I won't feed you with it before washing it. <laughs> Ew. There you go, you wanna try it? Yummy. No. <laughs> Mission accomplished, I think. Okay, so here's all the super worms. Here are the crickets. She's trying to eat them. But, but no, you cannot eat the peats, okay? But, girl, what is wrong with you? You little jerk. <laughs> Here, you can have the dead ones. Okay, so here's the dead ones. There you go. Dang, girl. Want some more crickets? Oh, this one's kind of alive. It's like dying. Oh, it's dead now. <laughs> what the f did I just watch? <laughs> Stop it! You're scaring them! Stop. No more crickets for you. Don't do it. No. Listen to your mother. No means no. 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 ¿Sabes lo que significa no? ¿Sí? No significa que no, señorita. Hágame caso. We gotta put you in like crickets anonymous. Cricket rehab program. I don't know. Okay, so I gathered up all the dead or dying ones. I'm gonna go ahead and give them to her. Babette, look. Really? <laughs> One, two. That was everything, baby girl. That was it. Come on, let's go to sleep. So yeah, now that I had a food source for the mantises, I was ready for these guys to come in. So. Seriously, not while I film. So let's go ahead and open this and see the beauties that are inside. You're like scratching me, honey. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> What is this? He never mentioned this. Oh, it's fan art. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Aww. Oh my god. 
Yeah. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, you guys. This is gorgeous. Well, my hair is straight right now, so you know, we're not looking as identical. The letter is in Spanish, but I'm going to translate. It says, Stephanie, uh, thank you for accepting my offer and joining me on this project. I hope that with your help, we can change the way people, especially here in Mexico, see these incredible animals. And that with time, they can be amongst us again, like in big numbers. They are more important than we think. This species in particular is not Mexican, it's African, but they are just as impressive. I hope you like them. I also included in this envelope a little something from me as a way to thank you. The drawing is made by me 100% on a Wacom bamboo tablet uh, with a software called Krita. It took approximately 15 days to complete. That's just a small percentage of time compared to the time that you will dedicate to these animals. Wow, this is just wow. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try and make my face the same. I can't. <laughs> okay, so now let's check out the beauties. Everything is packaged so neatly and there's like instructions and in all the baggies of what to do with everything. <laughs> okay, so oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my god, they're so tiny and so cute. Look, this one is like moving. Well, duh, it's a live stuff. <laughs> Yep, that's my cat. I don't think you can see it. Let me zoom in. Okay, so that was one. And there are six of these little containers. So, let's go ahead and see if everyone's alive. Yay, this one's also alive. So, two out of six. Three of six. Because this one is also alive. Yay. Four of six. Five out of six. Six out of six, yay! So everyone is alive, yay! So let's see what else is in the box. Six containers. These are lids for maintaining humidity and temperature. And then these are more lids. This is soil and dried leaves to decorate with. Money here, stop it. These are, I don't know what these are. Okay, so these look like they go under. So this is coconut fiber, uh, used when mantis is eating. Use when. Hey. <laughs> Stop it. Use when mantis has begun eating crickets. Fruit flies will get stuck. This is uh, for fruit fly cultures. I'm gonna be actually sending him cultures from my fruit fly colony. So I'm guessing he sent this for his cultures. I don't know, here we have decor items. Oh, it says that the color of the decor can affect the color of the mantis. I think that's everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the containers set up. <laughs> Thank you. 
time so it has been this long in the beginning of the video i didn't have any routage going on and now i do see i was gonna touch up my roots before filming this but then i figured this made it more authentic of you know how long it's been let me show you guys one of the beauties they're so big they're growing so fast okay oh okay hello <laughs> Well, you still look tiny on camera. You are so cute. Look at you being all social, wanting to say hi to the people. I can't wait till you're like this big so that the camera picks you up easier. I should zoom in. So they're starting to look like they're adult versions. This is what they're supposed to look like as adults. And yeah, this is this little dude right now. So yeah, this is one of them. I do have some sad news actually. One of them did not make it. We only have five now out of six. It was so weird. Like it happened the next day after they arrived. Okay, so at first I was spot feeding them individually so that I could, you know, make sure they were all eating. What I'm doing now is putting the flies into their enclosures so they can hunt them down throughout the day. I numbered them until I can tell which are males and which are females and then I'm gonna name them. So I tell them apart by numbers, <laughs> which I feel kind of bad for. So number five uh, did not make it. It couldn't get a hold of any of the flies. And then I tried feeding it a fly with some tweezers. Even then, uh, she just wasn't strong enough to actually feed. I did reach out to my friend and told him about it. He thinks that it might have been dehydration, you know, from shipping and everything, but I don't know. The day after, number five was gone. So yeah, that sucks. But I still have the others. And they're doing really good they've shed a couple times and they eat really good and you know they look really really cool i am really excited to make more videos on them you know once they put some more size onto them and the camera picks them up easier are you twerking I like them so much. So they all look like her. No point of me pulling all of them out because, you know, they all look like this. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, then go ahead and do that right now. Do it. Let me know down below what you think about praying mantises. Would you ever keep one as a pet? Would you be open to keeping one as a pet after this video? What do you guys think about the new intro? Do you like it? And my new official logo. Do you guys like it? I worked really hard on it. So please say yes. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good day or a good night. And I love you guys. Okay, you guys, so here is my fruit fly cultures. Currently, like right now, like at the moment, I started these.
pretty recently as you can see so these four are new uh, you can see just like the adult flies in there like the few that I placed in there to start life cycle over here these are really old like seriously look at the date they're so old yet they are still full of flies look at this and these aren't producing any flies yet so I'm still depending on these really old ones for feedings so as you can see the uh, few survivors there from the beginning of the video where we had just like a couple little wiggly maggots in there uh, they grew and became adults and reproduced but yeah uh, these are my fly cultures I just wanted to show them to you guys real quick